questions 11 through 20 on the 2017 grade 9 Pascal math contest. Jeff and Ursula each run 30 kilometers. Ursula runs at a constant speed of 10 kilometers per hour. Jeff also runs at a constant speed. If Jeff's time to complete the 30 kilometers is one hour less than Ursula's time to complete the 30 kilometers, at what speed does Jeff run? Speed is equal to distance over time or time is equal to distance over speed. So for Jeff, we have the time as TJ, and for Ursula, her time will be TU. Now, there's some sort of a relationship, and that is that Jeff's time is one hour less than Ursula's time. So that means that TJ is equal to TU minus one. All right, so now we use these, this formula, d over s, so dj, distance for Jeff, over the speed of Jeff, is equal to the distance for u over the speed of Ursula, minus 1. Now, the distance for both of them is 30, so that's pretty straightforward. But then the speed of Ursula has been given as 10 kilometers per hour. All right, so we got 30 over sj, and this looks like 30 divided by 10 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So that means cross-multiplying, we get sj is 30 divided by 2, which is 15 for the speed of Jeff. 11 is, therefore, d. A small square is drawn inside a larger square as shown. The area of the shaded region and the area of the unshaded region are each 18. What is the side length of the larger square? Okay, so this shaded region is 18 and this unshaded region is 18, so the total area is 36. Let's say the side length is x. It's a square, so all sides are the same. And the area is x squared, correct? And x squared, therefore, equals 36. So taking the square root of both sides, x is equal to 6, and that is the length of the side of the square. Number 12, the answer is c. Janet picked a number, added 7 to the number, multiplied the sum by 2, and then subtracted 4. If the final result was 28, what number did Janet pick? Let's say her number is x. You first add 7, then multiply by 2, then subtract 4, and that result is 28. So this is the algebra. So 2x plus 14 minus 4 is equal to 28. So that means 2x is equal to... 28 uh, minus 10, 2x is 18, and therefore x is equal to 9. So number 13, the answer is A. Tobias downloaded M apps. Each app costs $2 plus 10% tax. He spends $52.80 in total on these M apps. What is the value of M? All right. So each app is $2 plus 10% of $2. And he has bought M of them, and that total is 52.80. So this is the math. So this is going to be 2 plus 0.2 is equal to 52.80. So that's what, 2.2? And therefore, 52.80 divided by 2.2 is going to be M. And that is equal to 24 exactly. So he downloaded 24 expensive apps. Number 14, the answer is D. In the diagram, the side lengths of the four squares are shown. The area of the fifth square is K. What is the value of K? All right. So if this is, these are all squares. Yeah. So let's see here. If this is 1, then that means this must be 1, that distance from here to here. And therefore, the distance from there to there will be 3 minus 1. So this distance here is 2. This distance is 8, and this distance is 4. Therefore, this distance from here to here will be 4. So that means the side length of that square that has the k inside of it is 6. So the area is 6 times 6, 
and that is equal to k, and therefore k is 36. So number 15, the answer is C. A circular spinner is divided into six regions as shown. Four regions each have a central angle of x degrees. The remaining regions have central angles of 20 and 140 degrees. An arrow is attached to the center of the circle. The arrow is spun once. What is the probability that the arrow stops on the shaded region? Well, we have 4x plus 20 plus 140, and the sum of all those angles all the way around is 360. So 4x is going to be 360 minus 160, so 200, and therefore x is going to be 50. The probability, therefore, the total angle all the way around is 360, and then the numerator is our specific condition, which is the it lands in the shaded region. The shaded region looks like 2x plus 140. x is 50, so that's going to be 100 plus 140, so 240. And of course, in lowest terms, this is 2 over 3. So that is the probability. Number 16, the answer is A. Igor is shorter than J. Fei is taller than Goa. G is taller than Fei, and Han is shorter than Goa. Well, who is the tallest? All right, so Igor is shorter than G. G is taller than Fei. Han is shorter than Goa. Fei is taller than Goa. And then Han is shorter than Goa. Okay. So it looks like the tallest is J or G. Number 17, the answer is E. Given two different numbers on a line, the number to the right is greater than the number to the left. The positions of x, x cubed, and x squared are marked on a number line. Which of the following is a possible value for x? All right, x, x cubed, and x squared. And let's figure out what it is for each of these. 1 fifth, 3 over 2, minus 2 over 5, negative 4 over 3, and 2. All right, so we get 0 0.2, 0 0.008, 0 0.04. Well, this doesn't seem to fit our criteria that the numbers seem to be getting bigger as you go that way. So that's not right. How about 3 over 2? We get 1.5, we get 3.375, 2.25. Okay, again, it doesn't meet our criteria. How about negative 2.5? 0 0.4, negative 0 0.064, 0 0.16. This meets the criteria. And just for the sake of completion, 1.33 minus 2.37, 1.77 does not meet criteria. 2, 8, and 4 does not meet criteria. The only one that does is 2 over 5, negative, and therefore 18, the answer is C. In the diagram, M is the midpoint of YZ. X, M, Z is 30 degrees. And X, Y, Z is 15. What is the measure of X, Z, Y? So they want this one. Okay. Well, this is going to be 150 since 180 minus 30. And then since that's 15 and that's 150, that has to be 15. Since these two angles are the same, these two sides are the same. And if this side is the same as that side, that means that side is the same as this side. And therefore, this is also going to be x, since that will be isosceles. And therefore, in that triangle, 2x plus 30 is 180. And then 2x is 150. And therefore, x is 75. Number 19, the answer is a. A solid cube is made up of white plastic and has dimensions n times n times n, where n is a positive integer larger than 1. The six faces of the cube are completely covered with gold paint. This cube is then cut into n cubed cubes, each of which has dimensions 1 times 1 times 1. 
each of these 1 times 1 times 1 cubes has 0, 1, 2, 3 gold faces. The number of 1 by 1 by 1 cubes with 0 gold faces is strictly greater than the number of 1 by 1 cubes with exactly 1 gold face. What is the smallest possible value of n? I'll start with a simple example. Let's say n is 3. Well, if n is 3, then in a very sort of straightforward way, let's label this. So one by one, that kind of thing. And I hope you can visualize that we will have a very kind of predictable pattern for how many have paints uh, of one side, two sides, three sides, and, and, and or zero sides. So if an n, n is 3, right, it becomes a 3 by 3 by 3. So we'll make a little table. Three gold faces when this is all painted. Two gold faces. One gold face. And zero gold faces. Well, the corners will be the ones that are painted gold. And on, all, on three sides. So three gold faces will be the corners, as you, I hope you can clearly see this is one such corner. How many corners does a cube have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this will always be eight, interestingly, no matter what n is. Now let's talk about two gold faces. Two gold faces are these guys. That one, this one. And now those ones we have to figure out in terms of n. Well. It's going to be n minus 2. You're subtracting 1 and 2 from n. And then you have to multiply that by how many uh, edges are there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Every cube has 12 edges. So it's 12 times n minus 2. 1. 1 is basically, as you can see, in the middle one gold face. You get that by n minus 2 again. Multiply that by n minus 2 because it's going to be this times that and the dimension of this is n minus 2 and the dimension of this is n minus 2. And then there's six faces so each of those will have that so you multiply by six. And then zero gold faces the ones in the middle that you can't see. And that is basically a cube itself, n minus 2 times n minus 2 times n minus 2. So let's see, when n is 3, what happens? When n is 3, well, this number is always going to be 8. This number becomes uh, 3 minus 2 is 1, so 12. 3 minus 2 is 1, so this is 6. And then this is just going to be 1. So add them all up, 27. Is n cubed equal to 27? It is. So as you can see, this all matches. If you can come up with this, you are set. Now the criteria is that the number of cubes with zero gold faces is strictly greater than the number of cubes with one gold face. So zero gold faces was this n minus 2 to the power of 3 right here. And one gold face was 6 times n minus 2 squared, this guy right here. And this is the inequality. So the n minus 2 squared from both sides cancel, and all you're left with is n minus 2 is greater than 6. Therefore, n is greater than 8. n has to be greater than 8. So the smallest possible integer value for n is 9, since n is greater than 8. And therefore, number 20, the answer is C.